The history of coal smoke in Pittsburgh stands as one of the most infamous instances of environmental pollution in the annals of American history. During its zenith, the smoke emanating from the city's industries was so dense that it reportedly obscured the sun. The magnitude of this predicament is unveiled through a series of photographs from the Smoke Control Lantern Slide Collection, preserved within the archives of the University of Pittsburgh. Persisting for several decades, the smoke had a profound impact on the well-being and quality of life for Pittsburgh's inhabitants, as well as the surrounding environment. The predicament had its genesis in the late 19th century when Pittsburgh ascended as one of the globe's premier industrial hubs. The city's steel mills and factories consumed vast quantities of coal to fuel their operations, resulting in copious volumes of smoke and other harmful pollutants. By the year 1816, when Pittsburgh was officially incorporated as a city, it had already gained notoriety for perpetually cloaking itself in a dense haze of coal dust. In 1883, travel writer Willard Glazer remarked, Indeed, Pittsburgh is an ashen, desolate city at its finest. At its worst, nothing could be conceived as darker, dirtier, or more disheartening. Herbert Spencer, the esteemed British philosopher who was invited to Pittsburgh by his admirer Andrew Carnegie, succinctly expressed his sentiments, half a year's residence in Pittsburgh would rationalize contemplating suicide. The complex dilemma surrounding the burning of coal and the resulting emission of smoke has persisted in this region for a significant period of time. For many individuals, the presence of smoke was equated with progress. One could rarely witness the steel mills without their characteristic smoke billowing into the sky, except during times of economic downturns. However, it is essential to acknowledge that this smoke had a multitude of detrimental impacts on both the city and its inhabitants. Notably, Downtown conditions at midday were so obscured by smoke that streetlights had to be illuminated to navigate through the haze. Moreover, the surrounding vegetation suffered greatly from the effects of pollution. In stark contrast to the verdant cityscape we now observe, the hills surrounding the city were stripped of their greenery, completely barren due to the noxious fumes. The city experienced the damaging effects of acid rain even before the term itself was coined. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, efforts to combat coal smoke in Pittsburgh began in the early 20th century, fueled by the increasing public awareness regarding the issue. In 1911, the city enacted its inaugural air pollution control ordinance, which mandated industries to reduce their smoke emissions. Subsequently, a series of regulations and initiatives were implemented to address pollution, culminating in the establishment of the Allegheny County Health Department in 1924, specifically tasked with combating this pressing environmental challenge. In spite of the diligent efforts made, the issue persisted over subsequent decades. In 1941, inspired by a similar measure implemented in St. Louis four years prior, the city of Pittsburgh enacted a law aimed at curbing coal production in order to attain cleaner air. Rather than jeopardizing a vital sector of the local economy, the city proposed to address the air pollution problem by utilizing treated coal sourced from the region. However, the complete implementation of this new policy was delayed until after the conclusion of World War II. Subsequently, natural gas was introduced into the city, triggering a swift transition. Between 1945 and 1950, over 50% of households in Pittsburgh made the switch from coal to natural gas. Simultaneously, another significant technological advancement took place during this era, the replacement of coal-burning locomotives with diesel-electric engines. In 1950, there were approximately 35,000 coal-burning locomotives in the United States, but by 1954, their number had plummeted to 350. This transformation marked one of the most rapid technological shifts in the history of the United States, and undoubtedly had a profound impact on air quality not only in Pittsburgh but also across the nation. Pittsburgh has witnessed remarkable advancements in its air quality, freeing the city from the persistent shroud of dense smoke that once engulfed it. Nevertheless, the remnants of coal smoke pollution linger, 
necessitating continued endeavors to tackle this concern. Notable initiatives are underway, targeting the reduction of emissions originating from vehicles and various other sources. Moreover, ongoing endeavors are dedicated to purifying the city's waterways and revitalizing its natural ecosystems. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. We appreciate your support. Bye.